talk about five lightsaber moments that didn't happen in Star Wars The Last Jedi. So moment number one is we had no Snoke using a lightsaber. So a lot of fans have been speculating that maybe this would be the movie where Snoke would use a lightsaber, kind of like Palpatine using a lightsaber in Revenge of the Sith, for example. But we didn't see anything like that happening at all. We do see Snoke calling the Skywalker lightsaber, the Graflex lightsaber, to him, and he kind of puts it you know, next to him on his throne but that ends up kind of bringing about his demise later when Kylo Ren uses the force and slices Snoke, you know, into a few pieces with the lightsaber that sits next to him. And I can't help but make some kind of comparisons to the similar scene in Return of the Jedi when Emperor Palpatine has Luke's lightsaber next to him and, you know, is kind of trying to, he's taunting Luke telling him to take the weapon and can you imagine if a similar thing happened there if either Luke was able to kind of use the force to slice Palpatine in half or maybe Vader to do something like that there's kind of some alternate history to think about another lightsaber moment that didn't happen in The Last Jedi was Leia using a lightsaber so a lot of fans have wanted to see some kind of force demonstration uh, by Leia and a lightsaber is kind of a logical demonstration of someone's force ability, but is not necessarily essential. And so even though she didn't use a lightsaber in this movie, I'm not disappointed about that, by the way, myself, but she did demonstrate uh, force ability when she survived her ship exploding and was able, was able to kind of propel herself to a ship, uh, propel herself to safety using the force and I don't know that was pretty incredible that the force can kind of preserve you when you're just out in space out in the vacuum I know I was kind of taken aback by that scene but it was nice to show how powerful Leia is in the force as well you know uh, to, to show that she she is a Skywalker you know she has the same lineage as Luke another lightsaber moment that didn't happen in the Last Jedi was a new crazy lightsaber. So, in fact, most of the lightsabers we see in the film are the ones we're already familiar with. We have the Kylo Ren saber, the kind of uh, Skywalker saber, the Graflex, and we do see Luke's Return of the Jedi lightsaber in flashbacks. And this film does have one new lightsaber, and that is the Ben Solo lightsaber when he was still training under Luke the blue-bladed Ben Solo lightsaber. So that's the new lightsaber we do see in the film, but it's we just see it very briefly, and uh, yeah, we, we really don't see much of it. So most of the lightsabers in the film are just ones we've already seen. Nothing new and crazy, anything like that. Another lightsaber moment that didn't happen was, well, Kylo Ren versus Luke. Um, and you know, so, okay, there is that Luke Skywalker, Kylo Ren lightsaber duel, but Luke's technically not there. He's kind of, you know, conference calling it in or Skyping it in. Uh, he's projecting himself through the Force all the way from Octo um, to Kylo Ren, who's very angry. And yeah, so they have this duel. Kylo Ren is essentially dueling with air in a way. So, technically, or from a certain point of view, they're not actually dueling at all. And Luke is do doing basically the same thing that Obi-Wan did for him in A New Hope. He's creating this diversion so that the Resistance people can get away. That's just like how in A New Hope, uh, Ben Kenobi kind of created this diversion by dueling Vader so that Luke and Han Solo and Leia could get away. So it's another kind of parallel moment in this movie to, you know, other Star Wars movies. But, uh, yeah, very much like if you strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. Um, Luke basically said kind of a version of that. I don't remember exactly what he said, but uh, it was actually more along the lines of him kind of haunting Kylo almost, or always being with Kylo. So. That'll be interesting to see what happens with that, possibly in Episode 9. 
One final lightsaber moment that didn't happen in The Last Jedi, and I'm sure you guys can come up with many more, but the final one I'm going to talk about is we had no Kylo Ren versus Rey lightsaber duel. So none of this happening, no rematch from their Force Awakens lightsaber duel. They did fight side by side against the guards, um, Snoke's guards, but there's no actual lightsaber dueling between them because they're kind of allies at that moment in the film, but eh, it's very short-lived. So I'm sure we'll see them fight again, though. That's probably going to be a big scene in the next film. I'd be surprised if it's not, although I also wouldn't be surprised if Rey still sees good in, in Kylo or in Ben Solo, as she called him many times. Even though it does seem like Kylo's taken a big turn for the worse with the dark side, there's always a glimmer, and I think Star Wars, a big theme behind a lot of the Star Wars movies is a theme of redemption, so I would be surprised if Kylo isn't somehow redeemed in the end. That would be very bleak and, well, almost un-Disney if that happened. Anyway, that's just a look at my top five lightsaber moments that didn't happen in The Last Jedi. Feel free to add your own additional moments in the comment section.